When I was about nine, I started to get bullied at school. Um, and they would bully me for all kinds of things, being ugly, being uncool, being weird. I think when I was growing up, there wasn't really, I mean, there was no one really to kind of look up to and understand the questions I had running through my head, especially as a young black girl, a young Christian girl. Growing up uh, Jamaican, um, I was told that being gay was wrong. It's a Western thing, it's a white people thing. Um, and then growing up as a Christian, I was told that being gay was a sin. And yeah, it's been hard. It felt like every day I was going into school, I would hear some mean-spirited comment. So the first week at my new school, I went in, short hair, trousers. Everyone thought I was a boy. Second week I went in, short hair, skirt. Everyone thought I was a boy in a skirt. And that set me up for two years of really intense bullying. Even though that at that time, there still wasn't very much diversity within me. LGBT community, so that was a little bit of a struggle for me to understand. I spent quite a long time feeling unsure of my feelings, feeling that some of this might not be real, that it wasn't okay. But through talking and laughing and being with other people who were like me, I realised that I would probably happier as something else. Identifying not as male or female, but perhaps as non-binary. I found by coming out, it was like lifting a weight off my shoulders. It was like taking a backpack off full of bricks. It's always good to have people that you can talk to, like friends, a group or something. So, you know, go to somebody, talk to somebody. And I remember saying to my best friend, I'm bi and I hope you still love me. And she was just, her reaction was amazing. She made me feel not just accepted or tolerated, but like celebrated. So I think when you do give people the chance to be good people and you trust them like that, they really can be amazing. I'd describe volunteering in schools for DRM as an amazing opportunity to be the role model and be the person that I wanted to see when I was a teenager. So one of the reasons that I became a role model was so that I could give a positive experience and a positive encounter to kids in the school now. So that if there are trans children in that class or gay children in that class trying to come to terms with their identity, they can see an adult who is being successful and who has a life who is like them being in a classroom with young people who are really keen to to know how to behave and the idea that kids are out of control and they want to be bad or, or naughty is simply not true. They're really, really interested in the stories that adults have to tell about their lives. It's heartwarming to see how schools have changed and how the behaviours and thoughts of kids at schools are very different to, to what I experienced um, back in my day. It creates a hopefulness um, for a much better future for anyone that's different. And rather than seeing myself as somebody who belongs to multiple different groups, I look at myself as somebody who is a sum of lots of different beautiful parts and part of lots of different communities that I'm part of, which uh, makes life very colorful and very fun.